guys welcome back to another episode of city skyline so today we're going to work on some parks i think and i think we have that unlocked let's just double check and make sure that we got them it looks like we might be able to so got both of these unlocked so that's good um now, as far as where I'm going to be putting them, I'm not entirely sure. We have a little bit of area around here that we could definitely do it in. There's a fire that's happening across the river over here. Uh, we don't have any helicopters to put those out, but um, don't really need it. It's over on that side, so it's not a huge issue. Uh, as far as our industry areas, uh, we're making quite a bit of money. Uh, 3000 is good. Uh, some of these are probably producing, importing to forestry products. Small log yard. If I can click on it. Okay, so he's basically delivering um, owner Rockwood. Where would Rockwood be? Is that inside the city or outside? I think Rockwood is outside of the city. Okay. So I almost got excited. I thought maybe these guys were actually producing timber, but the more that I look at it, I don't think they, there is any timber for producing here. Just a lot of lumber piles and stuff. Okay. So that's good to know. Uh, I don't know how much timber we are producing. We have 1% filled. Let's check how much this is actually producing. Uh, timber. You know, I wonder if we can actually set this to balanced. That would be better because then we would be using it here. And our industry area kind of fluctuates between like, or money at least, it fluctuates between like 3,000 and I've seen it up to 10,000 or so, so. We could place down more um, sawmills and forestry areas. That might be an option. I don't know what we need. How many workers? Let's see. Needs. Workers until next level 350. Ouch. Okay. Um, what did we unlock actually for that? Because we're level two now, right?
Just building that park at the moment, and I wanted to get some paths and stuff in, so I was going to do that right now. So I wanted kind of like a main path to kind of wrap around like that, and then maybe branch off from here. So we'll do maybe like a direct line to there. And then from here we can kind of uh, maybe go directly straight like that. We'll need the guides on. So we'll go maybe like up there and then we'll kind of split it around I guess or something like that. See if we can't do that. So maybe go out to... Okay, those other additional ones are a little bit annoying. Okay, so we'll have that. And then we'll bring it out to about here. So we'll kind of do like a loop like that. And... Might be able to get away. Whoop. And a little bit too far. Uh, we'll go and bring it up to about. Well, actually, you know what? Let's let's try to do that loop thing over on this side as well. So, we'll go. I think that's no, that's not correct. Okay, I have to be careful with uh, the direction that I go with that because I don't know. Bring it out maybe a little bit like that. And then what we'll do is we'll... Yeah, because I'm not sure how we can do that, honestly, because I want it to kind of curve inwards. So we'll do that, I guess, because that'll connect up. And then we could do kind of um, a loop around, maybe? I don't know if that's going to be wide enough. We'll just do it that way, I guess. That will do. Because there's an intersection here, so I'm not sure what to do with that just yet. But we'll see if we can't do that. And then I think I have a little bit of space over on this side to put some paths as well. So we'll, we might bring it out. Just a small end path like that. Not sure where the fence is. It's a little hard to see at night. Um...
trying something a little bit new. Um, I'm going to basically put some green space between the residential plots. Uh, basically, I've added some commercial on the ends here. And as you can see, there's a little bit of commercial area. And then between, I've basically just unzoned a bunch of, like a basically like a line that goes right through here. And I'm hoping that it will give some additional um, value to the houses because there's trees nearby. So that's the idea at least. I uh, just need to basically place some more down and uh, we'll take it from there. So I kind of like the ones that are like this. Uh, there's other trees in here that we can use as well, but um, just trying to keep it a little bit consistent. I experimented with the um, what do you call it once the other spruce and as it's more full I'm not sure if I want to use that because it looks a little bit different <clears throat> doesn't blend as well as these ones over here so I think what we'll do is we'll replace these ones as well and I'll go ahead and set up just the, the ones that I've been using which are these ones right here and that way I'll just kind of stay consistent through the um, things that we're basically been adding uh, we could also add other things but I don't want to add too much to these areas because uh, fires can break out and stuff but as you can see it looks really nice like that so I think we'll do that for the rest of them and slowly we'll upgrade the rest of the neighborhoods and stuff like that so but I like the look of how it uh, basically is designed like this. We'll do another one at the end there. And we'll do the same over here. I The only downside of this is we had to unzone a whole bunch of properties and stuff, which is unfortunate, but it will uh, come back over time. Okay, so we'll kind of go like that. And then we have the school one over on this side, so need to kind of figure out where it is. <laughs> need to try to keep it as straight as possible. Or buildings will replace it. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Um, oh, we missed one right over here.
Anyways, so we got quite a bit of stuff done today. I expanded the city just a little bit over on this side, uh, pretty much from this intersection right up here to that point. So we have a little bit of mixed use in here for zoning. Kind of just scattered some commercial around and some uh, office buildings. Those ones for office and there's a few other ones situated around the other parts as well as some low residential and high density residential as well. Uh, we worked on the park a little bit more, so we got that done. Uh, we're just waiting for the last level actually, so we need to get 10,000 people in order to level that up. And our forest industry is doing pretty good. We have enough um, workers now in order to level up. It's just a matter of getting people to work there, that's all. And we're making a profit now, so that's good. Um, I also placed down a paper biomass pallet plant, which is, I think, produces paper and stuff. So we have some another warehouse. And I moved the warehouses over here just to keep it um, a little bit more organized. We might do something in this area for um, the logging industry, maybe. I'm not sure just yet what I want to do in that little area, but... Um, we'll figure something out. Uh, we will need to expand pretty soon though. Uh, we're running a little bit out of room out in this area. So I was thinking about expanding to this island back here. Uh, this has actually a lot of good ore uh, when it comes to it. So we might be able to make a ore industry over there somewhere. And maybe some residential areas. Well, I'm not sure just yet. That or we can uh, expand over this direction I guess we get ore and some farming so that would be an option as well so I don't know we'll pick a side tomorrow and uh, when we have that unlocked we'll be able to um, expand that direction but outside of that if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and I will see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out